Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to our second online session. Um, you might remember my name is Father Kevin and I'm really glad to be with you today. These are strange times still, aren't they? Such strange times. But we're all doing our best. So I want to say thank you um, for all the sacrifices that you're making. I want to say thank you for all the effort that you're making and to keep yourself safe, keep family safe, keep everyone safe. And as the ad says, we're all in this together. So we continue together just to try our best to get through this. And please God, um, that, that will happen sooner rather than later. I want to start off with another thank you as well. And that's because of your response to our last video um, with your reflection sheet. We were asking you about COVID-19. What was your experience as, as um, you know, as, as 12 year olds? And um, really, really important to hear back from you. Really important to hear what you were saying. Really important to hear your voice spoken because, you know, we all have kind of different experiences and so it's it's very important that we hear what your experience is and, and you, you you said very important things so thank you for that also thank you for your answers to our quiz or the five things you absolutely need to know quiz and what that quiz told us in the end was um this that we have a choice to make all of us um we have to choose an answer to this question. What are we going to do about our baptism? Are we going to use it? Are we going to not use it? Uh, have we another plan? <laughs> so you might remember that in our last video, we described this choice as the choice as to what team we're going to play on. And we said there were the two teams. There was Team Jesus and Team Not Jesus. Now, everybody, girls and boys especially, you know fine well that when we call it Team Jesus and Team Not Jesus, we're just trying to say something in a, an easy way that is not at all easy to say. In fact, it's very difficult to say. But when it comes to our confirmation and when it comes to being um, a Catholic and Christian, the choice that we're going to make about our baptism is, it's everything. Everything depends on that choice. So now in our second time together, we're going to take a closer look at the choice we have to make. Use our baptism, don't use our baptism. Does it, does it even matter anyway? Things like that. Now, before we set out, I think it would be good to know where we're going. It's always good to have a plan, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, our video this time, or our session this time, is slightly different. Our video will be divided into four parts over four weeks. And there'll be four short videos and uh, might be easier to watch that way. So here's an outline of where our journey is going to take us over these next few weeks, a bit like a sat nav, so that we know where we're starting and we know where we're getting to, hopefully, all right? So as I say, four parts to the journey. And um, let's look at just a quick overview of what these four parts will be, all right? So, the first part of the video will be today, obviously. And today we're going to be looking at what is this thing that baptism is anyway? What is it? And the reason we're doing that, I think, is probably obvious. Because um, if we have to make a choice about baptism, well, then it's important to remind ourselves what the choice is about. That makes sense, doesn't it? Like, you know, if we go out to a restaurant or something, or, um, you know, and, and they give us a menu, we, <laughs> we have to choose what we would like, and we have to choose, and then obviously leave unchosen what we don't want. That's the first week. Um, the second uh, part of our journey, I think it's quite exciting, because 
in that video we're going to be hearing the story of someone very famous who we could say started off his life and a lot of his life playing for team not Jesus but then because of something extraordinary that happened in his life he changed teams and he became one of the greatest players ever on team Jesus so that was not to be missed then the third part the third part um, the very third short video of this session um, will we'll follow on from that and uh, what we're going to do there is we're going to have a good look at what this famous person who changed teams has to say about baptism and what he has to say I think is quite explosive it's very wonderful it's a little bit challenging and um, so really worth listening to and hearing what he has to say which brings us then to the final part of our journey our fourth short video and this part will be about helping us answer this question how can I make the best choice possible for my entire life so <laughs> not hard that one but it'll be looking at helping us make the choice and just to say also that um, each video um, after it's finished we're going to ask you just to a little reflection very easy um, not a bother to you but just again it's sometimes good to write things down or remember things that are important to us so we'll, we'll be we'll be asking you to do that okay so what happens when you put these four parts together well when you put them together I think it could be a really really great journey we're going to be looking at all kinds of things along the way some of them said will be exciting some of them will be challenging all of them will be really fantastic news for who for us at least fantastic news offered to us what do we need to bring along on the journey we always say oh are we, are we packed for the journey well we have to bring this just the most important thing we need to bring ourselves okay bring ourselves bring our heart bring our mind uh, bring a sense of adventure a sense of exploration an openness to hear what is there and then we put it all together and make up our our, our mind and our decision from all that that we can hear but um, so boys and girls and everyone if we're all set then let's begin our journey today just the first part of our journey uh, this first part we'll call um, what is this baptism thing anyway <laughs> okay that's a good name for it what is this baptism thing anyway now boys and girls and indeed adults you probably don't remember when you were baptized most of us don't but it was on that day that God gave us gave you a very very special gift yeah now this isn't the kind of gift that comes wrapped in bows and ribbons that we might get at Christmas or on our birthday no this gift it's more like um, a seed that God has placed into our heart and into our soul not not a real seed literally but you know if you can just imagine it's like a little seed of love that has been placed in our heart and our soul so what are we to do with that gift then that gift of 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 this little seed of love well what do we know about seeds well we know that they are really precious and they're fragile they need to be minded uh, so that they can develop and grow and not just frizzle away and that is what it is like in a way with the seed that God has placed into our heart and our soul we need to mind it to help it grow to help it be nourished to help it develop what do we call this seed I wonder you probably have some ideas in fact we can call it all kinds of things but here's four things that 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 um, as a church we, we call it um, at least four things we call it okay sometimes we call it 
the seed of eternal life. Sometimes we call it the seed of the family of God. A very holy name we call it is the seed of our salvation. And this is a very important name and it may sound a bit wordy, but it's really, really important. And um, just, oh, a little heads up. After Easter, we'll be hearing a lot more about um, the seed of salvation, the story of our salvation and how that all fits together. So that's three of them. And then the fourth one is a very, very beautiful name. I think one of my favorites. And what do we call this gift that God, the seed of the gift that God has placed in our heart and our soul? We call it um, the life of God in us or the grace of God. Now, you might remember or you might know that word grace. It's a bit of a holy word. You might have learned it for your first Holy Communion if you remember. But grace is, it's like we say, the life of Godness. Um, here, do you remember this prayer? Hail Mary, full of grace. Mary, full of the life of God, as we are full of the life of God. Now, um, so that's four names that we that we call this seed of life given to us at baptism. But as we were saying, whatever we call it, one of the things we have to do is to help it to grow. How? Well, what do we do? We have to mind it and we have to water it. OK, but we, we don't water it with the um, the water of water, if you want to put it that way. We, we, we water it with um, all the things that are good in our lives. We water it with the water of love. We love as best as we can. We water it with the love of kind, the, 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 the water of kindness, just being kind. And now we've got the idea, the water of joy, the water of fun, the water of goodness, the water of uh, patience, the water of helping, the water of caring, the water of being compassionate. All these things, the water of all that we know is, is good in us and that we really want to be. So if we do our best every day just to be the best that we can be, that's like watering this seed of baptism and it helps us grow. It helps us grow and, 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 and we learn how to become really, really the best person that, that we can really want to be and can be. Okay. Oh, and that, everyone, boys and girls, is where the choice about our baptism comes into it. Remember we were saying about the last time, we have to choose what team, team Jesus, team not Jesus. But a lot of what to do with baptism that we're going to be talking about is choice. And we can see already the beginnings of that choice, can't we? You know, what? how, how are we going to water that seed of love of baptism in our heart and our spirit and our soul? Now, everyone, boys and girls, that brings us to the end of this very first uh, video of our second session together. Remember, so there's going to be four four videos. That's the end of our first one. Maybe you're thinking, we haven't gone very far. We've hardly got out of the driveway. <laughs> but, oh, that's enough for today. You know, we, we packed a few things. We packed ourselves, our spirit of adventure, a spirit of joy and love, our spirit of being open to hear what we might want, what we, what will, what we will hear. And uh, off we've started on our journey. So I think that's enough for, for today. The end of part one. Um, now, like I was saying earlier, what we'd like you to do now is just to um, take a look at this question. It's on your reflection sheet. And um, just to be able to um, name two ways that you help the, the the seed of baptism in your life grow every, every day. You know what, boys and girls? You should have done this already. This is so, so easy. Two ways. You do this in a million ways. Every day you do a million things that are so wonderful and kind and, and just life-giving. So just pick two of them and put it on your reflection sheet for now. And that will be that. So we'll see you the next time. 
And uh, as we said, we're going to talk about this guy who changed teams. All right. A good story, that one. So we'll see you for that. Um, thank you for being here today. You're doing fantastic. And we will see you soon. All right. Thanks, everyone. God bless. Keep safe.